Hello and welcome to Odds and Ends number 9. In this episode we'll cover Mung Bean, Vetch, and Grass Pea domestication. We will start with Mung Bean. The wild form of Mung Bean came from Australia. It's called Vigna radata sublata. This species is found, like I said before, in Australia, specifically the tropical and subtropical regions of northern and eastern Australia. At some point it was moved to India and domesticated 3,500 years ago, based on the highest level of genetic diversity being in India. The land races of cultivated mung bean found in Africa and other Asian countries other than India seem to be derived from the original Indian population. A closely related species called black gram, which was also domesticated in India from the wild ancestor Vigna mungo, variety sylvestris, this cultivated species has been crossbred with mung bean in order to improve its genome and add new traits. Now on to the next crop. Next we'll cover common vetch. Known by the scientific name Vecchia sativa, it is a highly variable species with many populations that in the wild overlap, allowing for interbreeding between populations. Although this happens rarely since this is a primary self-pollinating Crop. The domesticated form of common vetch, known as subspecies sativa, is obscure, but it's speculated that the subspecies nigra is a primordial wild form that the common vetch complex was bred from. This species has the widest range of distribution and genetic diversity within the Mediterranean basin. In the archaeological context, there is inconclusive evidence of the domestication of common vetch due to the fact that it's impossible as of right now to differentiate definitively wild, weedy, or cultivated forms of vetch as seed size overlaps in all three forms. But the earliest known samples of vetch were found in the Tel Abu Harayan site in Syria. These specimens date between 9,200 years ago BC and 8,500 years ago BC. And another set was found in the Erismatic Neolithic site, which dates between 7500 BC and 6500 BC. Further evidence was found in the Kant Hassan III site in Turkey, which is dated around 6500 BC. In that same location, bitter vetch and lentil were also found. In one of those digging sites, 8 seeds of iron corn were found alongside 40 seeds of vetch and 3 seeds of lentil. Most of the plants surrounding the vetch were wild, indicating that this was likely wild collected specimens. In Neolithic sites in Bulgaria, Hungary, and Slovakia, vetch was found amongst lentils, which date between 4728 BC and 4770 BC. In another dig site within the Eastern Europe subgroup, a combination of bitter vetch and common vetch were found that were dated around 2900 BC. While it is plausible that domestication of vetch may have occurred in Europe, it is still possible that these were weedy or wild forms since there is also circumstantial evidence of early movement of bitter vetch, common vetch, and lentils together. Based on current textual evidence, it is likely that vetch was domesticated in Rome, and from there the domesticated form moved to Europe. Based on the insufficient genetic or archaeological evidence, this will have to do for an explanation. Now on to our last crop, Lephrus sativus or grass pea. This plant has not been cultivated for quite some time, and its origin is very obscure. The most we know is that it's somewhere in Southwest and Central Asia. This species wild ancestor remains unknown, but the best candidates are Lapharus cesarea or Lapharus marmaticus, as well as Lapharus bellicarpus and Lapharus pseudodicaria. Due to the close morphological similarities between Lapharus sativus and these four other species. As of right now, the current distribution of grass pea is identical to that of lentil, where it covers the Mediterranean area, Ethiopia, and the Indian subcontinent. The earliest known specimens were found in the Neolithic era 
materials in the Balkans, as well as the Near East in Bulgaria. And once again, there's no distinguishing between the wild and domesticated forms due to overlapping seed sizes and similarities between both groups. This indicates that there was some crossbreeding between wild and domesticated forms at the time. The first known example of some form of cultivated Lathyrus was found in a pile of bitter vetch seeds dated around 7200 BC, indicating that it was possibly a weed. Cultivated grass pea, lentil, and pea were reported as rare at Iraq, but were still found there. These specimens were dated around 6750 BC. In Turkey, specimens have been found between 5800 BC and 5400 BC. In Iran, specimens have been found between 5500 BC and 5000 BC. And in cultivated lentil sites, a small number of grass pea seeds are found amongst pulses that date between 4928 BC and 4770 BC. In Greece, however, equal numbers of grass pea and lentil were found in that site that date between 3500 BC and 4000 BC. This suggests that cultivation was underway in Greece at that time period, and it was likely domesticated there. In a site, Tel Bazamon in Iraq, grass pea was the most common pulse found in that location. This location was dated between 2100 BC and 1800 BC, further indicating domestication at that time period. It likely faded away sometime during the Greek era since the Romans never mentioned grass pea, indicating some form of domestication in the mid Bronze Age before being outmoded by other crops in later years. Well, that book covers everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to me on BitChute for a greater variety of content, four videos a week. And thank you to all my subscribers on both platforms. I appreciate it.